I'm your astrologer, Wonder Girl, taking you to new heights. Here's your monthly forecast for the month of November 2017. Now, Leo, what's going on for you this month is a lot of stuff going on right here where Scorpio is in your fourth house of home and a family, okay? So I think what's going on there is you're really trying to work out some issues there to make sure your home life is the way that you want it to be, that your family is working out for you as well. Also, the fourth house rules your emotional states, trying to get right with yourself emotionally too, and just trying to build something that's very, very important to you at your core of your being, okay? That I think that you need to feel uncomfortable, feel comfortable and safe and secure in life, and I think that's what you're trying to work out here, okay? I think you were working that out a little bit last month, okay, with Mercury being there in your fourth house of home and family, um, all right, and being there a little bit at the beginning of this month, but we've got the sun here. That still has to come through. Venus, okay, and then Jupiter is going to be hanging out here for the next 12 months as well, bringing up some of these same issues for you, okay, over the next course of the year that you're going to have to deal with, okay? And I think you're really trying to work some of that stuff out so that you have the home life that you want, that family works the way for you that you want to do, and that you feel just better emotionally about what's going on in your life, okay? I think a lot of this for you here uh, that you're trying to figure out and work out with home stuff and deal with perhaps some emotional stuff as well coming up from beneath the surface is going to have a lot to do over here where Neptune and Chiron are in your eighth house of changes, okay? And of intimacy and of um, debts, financial investments, okay? Also ruled by the eighth house because we have all these planets that are going to be in Scorpio this month making a trine over to Neptune and a trine over to Chiron. First Neptune, then it's going to happen with Chiron here. Um, and I think what you're, what you're trying to figure out here <laughs> is how you can build a home life and build more stability into your life and be more comfortable here uh, going on and while you're making all these changes, okay, while you're making tons of financial investments going on, while you're ending and beginning things, okay, while there's a lot of emotional, deep emotional stuff coming up too, and I think you're trying to figure out, I want to be stable and secure in life. I have things that are really, really important to me and my heart, but all of this other stuff over here keeps going on. That's crazy, <laughs> okay? And I think that's what you're trying to deal with here. I think there could be some confusion about some changes that you're making or some ending and beginning and some hard feelings that are coming up here around these changes that you're making that you feel like are preventing you from building the home life that it is that you want. But again, needing to not get so lost with all these changes here and really needing to focus on the home life part here on getting right with yourself emotionally, on building the home life uh, that it is that you want or creating something very important and core to your being that you can then build off of in the future, okay? I think that's what happened in there. I think if you can focus on your home life, okay, um, what that's gonna do is it's gonna open some doors here where Pluto is, all right? To, to have the job that you want, the daily routines that you want, the external reality that it is that you want, to just live the life, I feel like that's better for you. And also, sixth house, rule, house rules health, uh, emotional health, and more so physical health too, to help you get your health a little bit in order as well, if you can focus on building that stability in your life and getting right with yourself emotionally, because Pluto is going to sextile um, over here all these planets in your fourth house of home and family, okay? So I think that's going on there. I think as you're trying to organize your life and create the life that you want here, you're gonna have to make some extra effort though <laughs> to make sure that your home life really resonates with you where the north node is in your first house because the north node is going to square um, all these planets in Scorpio. So I think you're trying to build a home here. You're trying to create the life that it is that you want, <laughs> just the life that you wanna live and the daily routines and to get right with your health and figure some things out there and really needing to make some effort to make sure it's good for you, it's what you want, that it resonates truly with your heart, okay, that everything's going the way that you want it to go to get you to where you want to be, okay, and the things that are important to you, even if there are some changes coming up that are a little frustrating to you, okay, and some deep feelings, okay, so I think that is what is going on there, okay, I think as that's coming up for you, there could be some, um, hard feelings that are happening right here in your fifth house of happiness. All right, where Saturn is, because Saturn's also in a square here um, to Chiron in your eighth house of changes. So there could be some hard feelings that do come up in regards to something you enjoy. Maybe it's harder for you to find happiness than you thought it would be as you go about making these big changes in your life to create a home life. Fourth house is a major house. It, it indicates major changes in something very core to your being here. And so I think you're trying to make some big changes here and it could be hard for you to find the happiness that you want as you make some of these changes, okay? Could also roll passion projects 
projects and also rules kids as well. So there could be some things around those areas of your life and romantic relationships uh, that come up this month that are a little bit hard for you to work out. How do you be happy? How do you work better with kids and romantic relationships and passion projects here as you make a bunch of these changes in life and a lot of these financial investments and do a lot of these things that can be really hard. But again, needing to commit to finding the happiness and finding the joy in your life, doing something that really resonates truly with your heart, working better with kids and all of that kind of stuff um, so that you can start to open more doors for you. And if you can commit to finding the joy, okay, and to working better with these parts of your life, even if it is hard, okay, even though the fifth house is normally a good house, but even if it is hard here, I think it's going to open some doors for you to really begin to do some new thing where Uranus is and your ninth house is something new, okay, that makes you happy and that you enjoy, okay? So it's like, if you're having problems, finding the happiness, working with these things, keep at it, okay? And if you can keep pushing through, eventually, um, at the end of the month, I wanna say, you're gonna be able to do something new that you enjoy, that makes you happy with kids, romantic relationships, that kind of thing, okay? So that's what I see there. While that's going on, we also have Mars here in Libra hanging out in your third house of talk and communication and of people around town okay so as you're trying to build a home life for you that's important okay overcome some hard feelings about some endings or beginnings that you're making here create a life that's better for you okay and really begin to do something that you enjoy and to do new things that you enjoy i think there could be some hard communication that's happening here uh, with mars and libra mars is not like being in libra so i think there's some communication here you're trying to talk about what's going on with you or work better with people in your community or even think in the right ways about your life. And I think it could be hard for you to get your perspective uh, in the right place or to have the conversations that you need to have and in the right ways uh, in order to move forward to build on this home life, to be happy with this home that it is that you're creating, okay? I think especially these conversations you're having are gonna have a lot to do here where Pluto is, because Mars is gonna square Pluto uh, when it comes to uh, your job and your daily routines, okay? I think that can also be hard and wanting to communicate a lot about your job, about the job you have or the job you want or about what you do on the day-to-day. -day. But again, things not quite falling into place uh, as you want so easily this month, okay, going on. I think there's opportunities for you to create a job and to create a daily routine that it is that you want, but maybe having to think about it in different ways or work out some issues there and be patient as that happens and to not push too hard, okay? Things will fall into place. They'll get a lot easier once Mars moves out of Libra here, but still needing to wait um, maybe for other people to come around as well um, and, and wait for some of your relationships to work out too as all of this happens, okay? So I think that's what's going on there. Also needing to balance a lot of this communication that's going on um, and, and trying to make something familiar here with something new that you're doing because Mars is also gonna be in an opposition with Uranus here. So needing to communicate about things that are going on with you, all right, but also needing to allow yourself to explore and to do new things and to make these new things familiar and just a lot of stuff going on there, okay? So I think that... Um, is what is going to be happening. And then at the end of the month, we also have Mercury here in your fifth house of happiness uh, with, where Saturn is here, bringing up some very serious conversations around what makes you happy, kids, um, uh, passion projects, romantic relationships, not may not be the easiest conversations to have, maybe a little confusing in regards to some changes that you're making here, but really needing to find the insights, find the inspiration, okay? See things in different ways here in order to find the happiness um, that you want and need in your life once again, okay? So I think that's what's going on. Sorry, there's a lot there. One other thing, full moon, uh, beginning of this month here, gonna be in your 10th house of your career happening, okay? I kind of mentioned this, but your career is ending. Where you thought your life was going is ending. You're now going in a different direction. It, career is not so much important to you as it is building a home life, creating something that's really important to you emotionally. So I think what you're trying to figure out, especially at the beginning of this month and into the rest of this month, is how can I, how how can you start to build something and not think so much about your career and where your life is going, but about what your your emotional needs are, okay? And I think what you're trying to do is to end a career or to finish whatever it is that you need in regards to your reputation or your social standing or a life direction that you had so that you can start to really just work on your internal stuff and work out your home and get all of that in order, okay? And really come, really learn to overcome some hurt feelings as you build your home life, okay? So I think that's what's going 
one on there that I already kind of covered, okay? So that's what I have for you, Leo. Your card is the Ten of Wands reversed. This to me is a card of too much, too much going on, all right? And you're letting some stuff go this month, all right? Maybe you realize that you've had a lot of stuff that's been happening for you uh, recently and it's just a lot and I think you're starting to realize I gotta let it go, I gotta prioritize, I gotta pick the things that are important to me because otherwise you're gonna get so overwhelmed and so much is gonna happen and it's just gonna be hard, okay? So I think that's the message of this month. I think you are doing that. If you're feeling overwhelmed and you're feeling like there's too much, then this also serves as a message to you to only pick the important things and the let go of some stuff even if you still like it okay so that you can do more of the things that you need to do instead okay so that's what i've got for you uh this month leo thank you so much for watching my horoscope if you like it please like it on youtube subscribe to my channel share it with your friends and i will talk to you later